money or the company does not receive money for that money, for that water. And uh, one of the issues that have been cited is dilapidated infrastructure. Uh, truth of the matter is, here in Nairobi, the water and sewerage infrastructure that we are operating on has been stretched beyond its capacity. And as the chair said, we are still relying on the original uh, water and uh, sanitation infrastructure when the city uh, was actually uh, built by the Mzungu. Honorable Chair, one of the things that I have never understood is if you look at our laws, there is a law that is called the Urban Areas and Cities Act. This law, under sections five and six, provides for a framework of cooperation between the national government and the uh, county government, and especially the city county of Nairobi, recognizing the unique position of Nairobi City County amongst the 47 counties. Uh, this uniqueness arises from many things, including the fact that Nairobi City County is the capital of, of the republic. It hosts uh, the diplomatic headquarters of many uh, countries. It also is a seat of government. Many national government institutions are actually situated here in Nairobi. Honorable Speaker, under that act, the expectation was that in the realization of the uniqueness of Nairobi, the national government would support development of uh, heavy infrastructure or critical infrastructure like the water and sanitation infrastructure. But this has never happened. If you speak to the management of the water company and the county government of Nairobi in general, Honorable Speaker, the amount of capital outlay that is required to bring the sanitation and water infrastructure up to speed, Honorable Speaker, it is something that would require over five years allocation under the uh, equitable revenue share for us to be able to do that uh, infrastructure. As we speak, Honorable uh, Speaker, the existing sewage network, for instance, covers only 37 or 30 percent of the total square area of Nairobi County. And Honorable Speaker, as you know, these has also, the past few years, I've seen a lot of uh, rapid development. Rapid development in terms of housing. Very many new buildings are coming up, uh, going up to 25 floors, hosting thousands of tenants. But it has not been accompanied by the commensurate uh, infrastructure upgrade that is required. And this is why uh, many of our uh, water and sanitation infrastructure is creaking. So, Honorable Speaker, I continue to call on the national government to honor its responsibilities under the Urban Areas and Cities Act to support Nairobi's development of certain critical infrastructure, including our water infrastructure, Honorable Speaker, so that we can be able to meet the needs of the people of Nairobi. Secondly, Honorable uh, Speaker, the committee has highlighted the specter of illegal connections and what the chair has called outright corruption. There are stories we hear in this city, Honorable Speaker, very serious allegations are made against uh, the management of Nairobi Water City Co Company, the people who work there, that Honorable Speaker, even though they told us that there is this uh, program of equitable distribution of water across the city, that there are unscrupulous people within the company who are even uh, themselves merchants of water, people who own water bowsers, who are aware of the distribution schedule, who will make sure that, uh, Honorable Speaker, the running joke is that some of them have mjengos going on and they tell their contractors, just watch Nifunge, Nairobi West, and then I'll come and see you at the hardware, Honorable Speaker. Knowing that you are shutting water supply to Nairobi West, then your bowsers are available for the people of Nairobi West to buy water from you. So these stories, Honorable Speaker, unfortunately for us, we rely on other institutions, and we have complained even at the Committee of Public Accounts that unfortunately for us as a house, our role ends somewhere. That once we bring up uh, these matters before these committees, we depend on other institutions of government, including the ESCC, to be able to follow up and to be able to bring some of these matters uh, before the courts so that we can stop these malpractices. I remember Honorable Speaker, and I, I don't know if the uh, chair of this committee can, can recall, that when the Nairobi Water uh, team was before uh, his committee, there was a discussion about uh, the discharge point uh, for sewage uh, from these exhausters in Nairobi. And the management there could not tell you on average or in a day what are the identities of the trucks that have delivered or have discharged this morning. 
they cannot tell you the number of times a vehicle specific registration number has appeared there. And it becomes very difficult for you to manage revenue if you are operating like that. So, Honorable Chair, if we do not focus on this question of illegal connections and corruption within our water companies, we are doing nothing. And by the way, I used to think that uh, cartels, for instance, in water are shadowy figures who you cannot point out. Honorable Speaker, the people doing illegal connections are known within our communities. It is the inefficiency of the water companies that supports the existence of these cartels. Because the people there, especially in the informal settlements, have come to realize that the suppliers down there who have made illegal con connections somehow provide a more reliable service than the water company itself. So if these issues are not addressed, Honorable Speaker, then we will not be doing anything. Lastly, Honorable Speaker, I want to uh, just comment on, 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 I think, uh, on something that the, speaker, the, the, the chairman said, that the recommendations are arrived at by consensus. And in replying, I would also want him to uh, advise if this consensus is just amongst the members of the committee or if, in fact, the uh, management of the water companies themselves share in some of these recommendations because it is important that you get the buy-in of these stakeholders, uh, especially on uh, conflict areas such as the uh, uh, Kisi and Yamira situation that you have referred to, the Bungoma and Transoya one. If there is no commitment from those stakeholders to resolve those problems, there's not going to be a uh, resolution of those problems. So therefore, Honorable Speaker, I want to thank the committee I thank them for the support that they are rendering to all these entities for them to be able to improve. At the end of the day, Honorable Speaker, what the people of our counties expect is reliable water supply. If you look at the statistics, uh, the people who in this city have access to water 24 hours are less than 40%. The rest of us, Honorable Speaker, we have to play pata potea with uh, our water supply. And this is an, uh, a situation that is not acceptable. And we have to call out the management of these companies. We have to call out the management of our counties to ensure that this is done. Nairobians have waited for so long, Honorable Speaker, because, you know, there's a project that we were following very closely on the Northern uh, Collector Tunnel that was supposed to add an additional 170,000 cubic meters of water to our daily supply, which would have helped because we are running a deficit of over 200,000 uh, 200, cubic uh, meters of water every day. We need to be updated on the situation with the Northern Collector Tunnel and all the other water projects that uh, the people of Nairobi have been waiting on so that we are able to assuage the situation and as well in the other counties. Uh, with those many remarks, uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, I thank you and I support.